All right, the truck is fired up. Now off to Iveco for one last check. And off we go, safari to Namibia with Sean and Hattie and Isabella, Fabian and Matteo Zinio. Woo! Our last days in Cape Town were amazing. We went to Clay Cafe and did some pottery. We also did a stop on the iconic V&A waterfront and enjoyed a nice cocktail. And we could not leave South Africa without visiting the famous Franz Hook and Stellenbosch and taste their wines. Then we moved towards the beginning of our journey to Namibia. But we had a last stop in Lambert's Bay and had the pleasure to eat in an open-air restaurant named by National Geographic one of the top 10 sea views to dine for. A food experience of a lifetime. I am Isabella and I am from Brazil. This is Fabian and he is German. We've been overlanding the world with our home sweet home, Frank the Tank, for the past almost four years. And together with our son, Mateo, and our two lovely dogs, Uni from Spain, and Basco from Germany, we are living even for before. Subscribe and welcome to the family. Where are you? Hello guys, we are in the Clay Cafe and it's an amazing place because it looks like you can do your own clay product. You can paint your own plates, your own mug or other stuff. It's a restaurant, cafe and you can do your own pottery, right? That's how it is. And, and here's the here's the man. He's he's, he's the trainer. Exactly. I think he's gonna explain <laughs> Isabella what to do. Exactly. <laughs> nice. Okay. Tell them they're missing out. They're missing out. Whoever is not here, exactly. So being in the clay cafe is really something special, I guess, in Cape Town. So at least Isabella is pretty excited. I am. <laughs> so we just ordered. We have the menu. So here's the menu from Clay Cafe in Hout Bay. What did you order? I ordered a burger with the gorgonzola cheese. Okay, and Matteo is gonna get pasta and Papa a burger as well. Wow, I had to bite already. Matteo is enjoying the pasta, mm -hmm. Isabella is enjoying the burger. Mm -hmm. Really good. The Clay Cafe. Look what Pavan is doing. <laughs> He's painting his own mug. Ooh, in what color? Wow, in green. Fabian's color. It's actually gray. Gray? No. What? <laughs> Most gray. Here's Mateo that is eating the brushes. And here's Mama that is painting her mug. Look, look, look. Oh, heart. There it is our end products <laughs> here is the hand of Matteo this was the best that we could get and supposedly in 24 weeks we will receive an email when this is done on the oven and then we'll be shining and beautiful Uh, the 
übersetzt Franzose Ecke. Ah, oh, nice. Bossy. Nice. Well, Matteo is done. drinking water. Yes. Enjoy, and Marcos guys. is Enjoy. eating what? Moroccan chicken noodles. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Mama, I bet Try eight different kinds of wine. Be. We'll come, I think, three white wine, one so rose, and, and the rest is, is red wine. They smell and the acoustic is really nice. Hey! Uy, Mateo? It is Kenya the Mateo Schon aus Spanien. Bye bye, nice, nice place. Mateo, bye bye.
So the plan here is to enter Namibia on the south, obviously, and then we will work our way up Sososlae, Swakopmund. Nice. Spitzkopper, really beautiful mountain range. Spitzkopper, then we're going to go into um, Damaraland. This whole area is called Damaraland. And okay. we're going to explore Damaraland. We're going to go see uh, ancient rock paintings. We're going to go see uh, the White Lady paintings in Brunnenberg White Lady Lodge. And then we're going to get the biggest excitement for, for I think, is we're going to go find um, wild desert elephants in the riverbeds. We're going to go explore these riverbeds and then we'll head over to Itosha Game Park on this side where we'll see hopefully huge herds of game in a different environment than salt pans. So this whole area is Itosha? This whole, this is a salt pan. Can you see it looks like yeah, a yeah. lake but it's actually a salt pan. Oh, it's There's, no water. Okay. There is a little bit of water. There could be. It's very green at the moment. Nice. Uh, but generally it's salt pans. If you see an elephant, you'll see a lot of white on the elephant because he's been rolling in the, su in the, in the salt, salty white sand and spraying himself over. We'll see rhino, which is nice. amazing. We'll go see rhino. I'm the, excited. The, the, the problem we have is that uh, there's just so much to see and unfortunately you can't see it all, but we'll certainly try to pick some of the hot spots on this trip and then uh, the next trip there's just so many more to see. Perfect. Thank right. you, Sean. Here we go. So, boom! In two days we go on safari, so we thought we'd do a relaxing day at the waterfront. Look at this. Beautiful. A rhino at the waterfront. It's really nice. So last time we were here, we could not see the Table Mountain because it was all foggy. And now check it out. It's right here. It even says Table Mountain. There you go. Enjoy this town. Truck is fired up. Now off to Iveco for one last check. And off we go. Safari to Namibia with Sean and Hattie and Isabella, Fabian and Matteo Zinio. Woo! There it is, our okay, supermarket. Sorry for the weekend. Here we have Hattie. Say hello, Hattie. Hello! <laughs> we bought lots of foods. <laughs> yes, for Namibia. We are ready. Also ready to go. What are we sitting here? Hey, hey, what's it? We are going to travel again, Matteo. Wow! Wow! Yeah, and here is a camper. This is Happy and Sean camper, and I will meet Fadem there. Let's adventure begin. Off he goes! Nothing we should learn. This is Karigmans because we're gonna have um, 
it's like a it's like a bread that you bake in the oil in the pan. Mm. It's like a it's like a dumpling cross with a pretzel cross with a donut. Oh wow! And then you put the meat inside. Wow! This will be awesome. How many birds, Mateo? Yeah. There we go. This is also Lambert's Bay. The wind is blowing and we're gonna have a nice dinner, traditional dinner here in this restaurant on the beach. And uh, yeah, thanks to Hetty and Sean, we can experience that with their lovely friends. So stay tuned. Wow, check it out. Yes, we get... We're in South Africa still and the oven is so brand new that That's, look at this. Everything's we just oh, wanted big. we just wanted to heat up a little lasagna. Oh wow! It's a really big oven. It's supposedly a microwave oven combination. Pretty cool. Okay, it's right here. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. So the lasagna, the lasagna Isabella made. What, yes. Matteo? <laughs> the lasagna Isabella made. We're gonna try to heat up in the microwave. Now the lasagna is cooking and this truck is so new that we collect everything here. All the manuals. All the manuals, everything what we find using first time fridge, oven, you know, nice. Lasagna inside, sunset outside. So now the microwave worked. And Matteo is eating mama cooked. Mama's cooked. Lasagna. Lasagna. Enjoy. Have a nice evening. Mm -hmm. See ya. Let me see ya. Need to clean the windows. So, Matteo ate. Yes. And we are doing the Mispos cam. Yes. There, look who's here. You missed the sunset. You had amazing sunset. I saw. Whales were pushing okay. Whales are pushing out in the, in the ocean. Okay, Amazing. we missed the whales, but we had the beautiful sunset from the truck. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> fantastic. There we go. Look yeah. at this food. Look at this, how they prepare yeah. that. This is amazing. Wow. Is it done? Is it done? Ready to eat? Look at this. So can you explain that, Sean? The nice thing about this restaurant is that you don't have to wear the suit and tie. You don't have to wear the suit and tie, and the food is cooked in front of you. So you can see exactly how the food is prepared in front of you. You can see the lovely ladies that are preparing it. They have got the talent here from this coast, the west coast. They've got the natural traditions. And this restaurant started, there was a a uh, older guy and he used to make this food for his friends so his friends used to come out and he used to prepare the food this way traditional way on the beach and they said to him one day you should start a restaurant where you can let everybody else experience this and this is how it all started so the restaurant from preparing to his friends this is how the restaurant started nice Thanks, Sean, for giving us this experience. This is amazing. And I smell the food, so now see you when we see you because I'm going to eat. Take care.
So this is my new South African friends. Aren't they great? Love it. Cheers, guys. Cheers. 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 Just enjoying Cheers. the good sunset, <laughs> the good uh, natural food being cooked traditional way on the West Coast. And amazing South Africans. Ta-da! <laughs> Happy birthday, Hiti! <laughs> Look at this food. This is fish from the ocean where we still have the sunset glowing. Amazing. That's the big boss. Big pot, big boss. Whoa! What's in there? What's cooking? Mussels. Mussels. So I've got you some uh, nice fresh mussels. Grab a lemon slice. And uh, this is some beautiful homemade tartar sauce. Ah, tartar sauce. Yeah, some nice. Of the, some of the best ever to be had from what I've told. What I've been told. Wow. So this is just to get us started. Angus, thank you for the feedback. No worries. <laughs> and Fabian, so far? In the old days. Amazing. Are you eating snook? You have a very special fish on your plate. I just heard from the locals that it's really rare to get this fish. So we enjoying. We have calamar, we have sweet potato, we have paella, we have ivory. Wow. Amazing. There is. Yum, yum, yum. There is my too. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, look at our table. Lots of people here eating and here we have more food. Look at that. We have different kinds of fish still. Oh, now come the veggies. Awesome. I will go for that. Fazendo. <risos> Ui. <risos>